for a little while now on a on like a walk run past a route I've done for a while um taken a couple of images but I don't I don't think there's any been worth doing a, a video record of just some of like some local wildflowers um some of some squirrels things like that um yeah a couple of bits and bobs I like them they're nice but I don't think they were worth the, the video record bit but I'm just turning a corner now and I'm hoping uh, there'll be some pleasant surprises or not so, so surprising um, just round this corner. So if they are, I'll post those pictures next for you. Um, you'll see what they are in a minute. But I'm just going to stop over now and change uh, my lens over because I need a different one. So um, if there's any, see you in a minute. Ta-da! Well, here's a surprise for you. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to stop at my face for a moment. And I'm going to just explain what we're doing here. So we did find what I was looking for and what I was talking about in that little clip. But I didn't do it until much later on uh, in my walk, in, in my shoot. So I will show you that bit later on. For now, the pictures I was talking about in the clip that I'd taken already, I'll show you them now. And then what we'll do is we'll jump back into the next part of the video, the next clip, and we'll watch that, and we'll go back to how it should be. You'll see the next following images from there. Um, but do, do do carry on watching. Uh, do stay with me, because there are more videos, and hopefully less of me doing these voiceovers. So uh, keep going, because there are some cracking images, and it's well worth it. See you all in a minute. I'm just going to quickly interrupt you here. I'm going to put two images on screen now. They're the same image, slightly different edit. I'm not sure which one I prefer the most. So please have a look and let me know which one you think. Thank you very much. See you in a minute. Hello everyone. Uh, just back on Bluebell, kind of shooting. And I've come across this, uh, kind of cordoned off on, on the outside of it. Patch, I'll flip it over. I don't know if you can see, you can see barbed wire through there. Uh, but there's some, I've, I've taken a couple of shots through there with the 300mm I've got. And uh, they look quite nice. A couple of bluebell shots, a couple of like the, the trees surrounded by them and that. So I'm going to post them up uh, any second now. Uh, there's some like nice speckled light and stuff. So looks, I think they look nice. So um, yeah, I'll post them on now. Hope you enjoy. So in this video I'm going to show you a couple of files where I will provide the raw unedited file which is on screen now and that's of the, these bluebells and on screen now you'll also see the edited file. I just want you to have a look at them both. I'm going to put them both on screen together now. Just have a look and let me know what you think and if there's anything you would do differently to the edit. I'm still reasonably new to edits and things and I quite like this as it is. But let me know what you think and what, what you would do differently. I appreciate all uh, all comments and opinions. Thank you. Hello and welcome back again everyone. So I've got a couple of images here for you to look at. This time we've got a tree or a tree trunk, we've got you know, a little collection of trees in the bluebell field. 
this first image that you'll be looking at this is the raw or focus merged raw the next one which is on screen now is a little bit more ethereal I don't want to say washed out but desaturated a little bit and I quite like the lightness of it what do you think the next one which is here is a little bit a little bit punchier I suppose a little a little bit a little bit more saturation to it I think it shows off the light and the shadows the highlights and the shadows on the tree trunk a bit better than the previous one and then we'll move on to the next image again this this again is is, is more saturated it's a bit punchier and again the it's showing it's showing the the, the colors the highlights the the shadows the it's got a bit more of a a warmer glow to it I'm not sure which one I like the most but I thought I'd let you all have a look they should all have be, been on screen by now um, and they'll all be on screen together so have a look and let me know what you think Ta. lovely evening today there's, uh, there's just a load of sheep in this uh, field here Not, not the greatest view and angle, but I've um, I've been taking some images of them. You can see them up there as well. So again, I'll post a couple of those pictures. I feel like I uh, what this particular well-known photographer I follow all he does is take pictures of sheep. And I understand why, because it's just something about getting pictures of them. It's pretty cool. But yeah, they're gonna follow now. So um I hope again, hope you like some pictures of sheep. <laughs> See you in a minute. Hey everyone, we're back again. So this time we've got a couple of images of a squirrel that I've taken and the squirrel is about to leap off a log and I've also got the subsequent image afterwards where it does leap off the log the first image again as you'll see is the raw image so it, it looks quite quite flat what we do is we move on to the next one which is a lot brighter and a, a, there is more saturation to it but it, I, I like it because you can see it really clearly or you know you can see the scene clearly you can see what the subject is so I do like it when we move on to this next image though again that I'm not sure it's quite as bright but again like previously it's a bit it's a bit punchier it's a bit there's more saturation, there's more colour. I like the way the bluebells look. I like the, the the feeling of it. Again, I'm going to put all three on, on screen for you, and that'll be probably now. So you'll be able to just have a quick look and compare them. Uh, just let me know what you think. I'd be really interested to see what, what everyone's opinion is. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to follow on in a moment with... The next image which will, again will be a comparison but of the squirrel in midair so bear with me so as promised here we are this image is taken literally a moment later and the squirrel has taken its jump from the fallen tree and we've caught it midair something I'm quite happy about getting because I know that it's quite a hard thing to do and I do like the image and it came out quite well the image on screen is the raw image and it is a little bit flat so obviously we've had to do our edits so the first edit I'm going to show you is this one now and it's a brighter version there is again more saturation more color but it's a lot a lot brighter than the raw 
And again, I like it. I can just not quite choose between between the edits. So again, I did another edit, slightly tweaked it, but again, similar to previously, I just made it a bit, maybe a bit warmer, a bit, a bit, a bit more color in it. It just the, the bluebells stand out a bit more, and I, I'm probably leaning towards. The, this side is me, probably my me, me more favourite, but I do want to know what people think. Again, to make it easier, all three images will be on screen together, so you can just have a quick peek at them. And again, just let me know. Does do any of the images jump out to you? Which one is your favourite of them all, and what do you just think of the image in general? All, all all feedback is is greatly appreciated uh yeah we're going to move on to the next set of images now thank you for for having a look at this one so we're coming towards the end of the video now we're not quite there yet so please do hang in for a few more minutes the images that i've got coming up now are potentially some of the best images that i've taken this evening during this trip i really do like these and they are some pictures of some wild squirrels that are just climbing trees, hunting for nuts and having a bit of a play. I really do like them and I hope you enjoy them. After these, we have some beautiful pictures of some wild deer. And I think we're, where I live, I'm truly blessed to be able to see these creatures. I think I've got some really good images of them. And I just want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the clips. And please let me know what you think. images that were taken during this evening's trip out with the camera. They're a little bit different from some of the others that were taken. So again, hopefully you enjoy them and then we'll be at the outro. Speak to you soon. Right. Well, that's it. Been out for hours. Best off the watch, actually. Been out for hours. And I've hopefully got some images. Uh, you'll see them bef before I know whether they're any good or not. So uh, let's hope they are. So thanks for, for watching, as always. Uh, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. And... Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging in with us on this one. Hopefully you like the image. So I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.